Hello guys, in this quick tutorial, I will show you how to turn any AI generated t-shirt image into a smart object mockup you can reuse forever. We'll go from this to this, a perfect perspective matching smart object you can drag and drop your design into in seconds. Whether it's for Etsy or a client, this mockup trick helps your design stand out and saves serious time. Let's jump in! So here we are in the wonderful world of Photoshop. First, we will create a new file and make it 3000 by 3000 and 300 resolutions. Okay, hit create. Now we have our new file. So next we will drag and drop our base image like this. This image right here I made using ChatGPT. Here's the prompt. If you want to try it yourself, go ahead. Okay, so here we have the base image for our mockups, right? This is white t-shirt, as you can see, in some wrinkles and some texture on the fabric. Okay, next we will create a square for our design. To do that, we will go here into a rectangle tool, right click rectangle tool and make a rectangle. Just like this and then change the width and height to 2000 by 2000 this will make sure we have a perfect square okay let's change the fill into white and now we will change it into a smart object right click on the layer go over here convert to smart object and click now we have a smart object for our design next we will adjust the perspective and size of the smart object to match with the t-shirt to do that we will lower the opacity first so we go 30 percent or 50 percent and we will hit command t or control t to resize our square let's resize it like this and now we will match the perspective to do that we will right click choose distort and move the anchor point of the square just like this so we will move it there put it there this one over here this one here let's make it just some more square just like this okay once we have the perspective match now we will make it so that the square is really on the fabric to do that we will do some warping so to wrap our square to the form of the of these wrinkles we will right click and choose warp now we will add some more dividends line like this press command and place it near where you want it to bend okay it's like this over here like this, over here over here and maybe over here now we can just move it a little bit so if you move it like this and we move it like this it will kind of change it also this one we will move it like this or we can add one more point right here just like this also for this one we can just move it right like this okay here we can also add a point just like this here also to match with the flowiness of the t-shirt okay just like this now hit enter now it looks more realistic right good next we will hide this smart object layer and we will take the shadows and the highlight from this t-shirt into the quick square that we just made to do that we will choose this quick selection tool so right click on this tool right here select quick selection tool and we will just select the white t-shirt like this okay now we will press command j 
and press command J again to duplicate the layer once more. Now we have two. Let's move it on to the rectangle. First, we will change the first layer into shadows and the second layer into highlights. Just like that. Now, double click on the layer and we will play with this current layer and underlaying layer. Okay? To have a better look on what's happening, we will create we will show the rectangle once more. Put the opacity back to 100 percent Now we can do our tweaking. See, if you move this white slider right here, it will remove the white part of the layer. You see how it first removed the highlights, then the white part, and then it will move to the shadow part, right? So for the shadow, we will remove the white part and leave the dark part for the shadows. To do that, let's first move it kind of over here. Hold Alt or Option and slide one of the sliders left. This will make this will give it a smooth transition to the dark. Okay, just like so. Now hit OK and we have our shadows. Next, for our highlights, we will do the same thing, but now we will move the dark sliders just like this. As you can see, the shadow is erasing itself and we will leave it into the highlight spots. Okay, just like this. Hold Option or Alt again and move it to have smooth transitions. Just like so. Hit Enter. Okay. Now we will change the layer mode from normal to color dutch. Okay, to color dutch. Lower the opacity down into something like 10%, 15%. Also, the shadows we will change into multiply. Okay, multiply, lower it down a bit to maybe 70%. And next, we will clip this two layer into the rect into the square. To do that, hold Option or Alt, hover your cursor between layer and click. Again, just like that. Now we have the shadows and highlights on our design. Next, we can insert our design into the smart object. Here, this is design. To insert our design, simply click this icon right here and we will be moved into this smart object window. Let's drag and drop our design. X like maybe like this. Hit enter. Let's remove the background. Hit save. And let's close the file. And there you go. You have your mock-up for t-shirt. This is very easy, very simple. And once you've done all of this, we can save the file and use it as a template. And now we can go ahead and combine it with Bolt Mocha plugin so that we can have amazing, amazing work efficiency. With Bolt Mocha, you can create hundreds of images within minutes so you don't have to drag and drop every time you want to create another design. More on that on our website at boltmockup.com. Okay, I guess that's all for today's video. I hope this tutorial helps you. See you in the next video.